Good day everyone, my name is uh, Ellen May Albinus and I'm from program at 110A1. Today's topic is about my experience learning in study, still, study skills course and I'm going to talk about the new things that I learned in this course and the obstacles that I need to overcome. The first thing that I have learned in UD is learning styles. So there are three types of learning styles. Number one is visual. Visual is where learners prefer to use pictures, images, and spatial understanding. Number two is auditory. Auditory is where learners will retain information when they hear some things. Number three is kinesthetic. Kinesthetic is where learners prefer use their body, hands, gesturing, and touching. The second thing that I learned is about goal setting. We learn about how and do the effective goal statements, which is the five steps approach. There are two types of my goal statements that I'm going to share is academic goals and personal goals. This is my academic course, which is my course is Diploma in Plantation and Agriculture. Step 1 tentative goal statements, which is I want to achieve a high CGPA in this semester. Step 2 list of obstacles, which is number 1. Internet is one of my problem. Number 2 the subject is difficult for me because it's biological and chemistry. Number 3 I can't really follow the class because of ODL. Number 4 getting behind in one course because of having no study. Number 5 not having an unable located. Number 6 study area faces a window, door, TV, phone and other distractions. Step 3 is list of resources. Number 1 all the notes that lecture gave is complete. Number 2 my family used wake up early to wake me up so I'm not getting, going to skip a class. I will study when I have free time. Number 4 I will take the important notes from lecturer. Number 5 I will do all the assignments. Number 6 I will discuss with my classmates if there is something that I don't understand. Step 4 revise goal statements which is I will try my best to have an excellent result for the semester and step 5 is polish call statements so the third thing that i learned is time management this teach us to manage time effectively to do the daily activities and feel satisfied with what you have done then we have to do the how am i going to organize my time and this is my plan number one is do a to-do list Number two, balance the tanks. Number three, focus on your productive time. Number four, determine the duration of each assignment. Number five, take a little rest, of course. And we also learn about prioritized task list. Fourth thing that I learned is taking lecture notes. We learn about the Cornell note taking method. Cornell method is a note-taking technique that is superior to others in many cases and science has proven that it is only more efficient but also makes it a lot easier to review notes for example when preparing for an exam so this is the examples of note-taking Cornell method so this is my own Cornell note taking methods I used recently. Number one is internet problems. Internet problems are basically problems for all students, especially for online distance learning, because there are some places that have no strong and not that good internet. So, this kind of problem is that I have to face when it comes to online learning. So the second thing is noise distraction. Noise distraction is also the main problem for online distance learning, especially the cars, motors, animals such as dog and chicken. This problem make me not focused in class, make me not focused in what a lecturer is teaching. It also caused me to become lazy to hear what is the lecturer is talking 
can make me angry sometimes. Ellen May, Albinus, and that's all for me. Thank you.